Rise and shine, Barbary Troop, and welcome to another beautiful, beautiful day. Today I'm filming from my car because my husband is in church and I am not a church person. And I'm waiting here for him. And you know, I have been doing the Rise and Shine every single day for like, I want to say half of a month already. And I don't want to like lose you know the thread and i was like i'm just i'm just gonna do it from here but today i'm doing a, something a little bit different you know i'm not gonna do the tarot of the day because i don't have my tarot cards here with me and i kind of like i wanted to talk about a spirituality and about you know um some of the things that you know we need to go through um in life related to this topic and I don't know, maybe it's because I'm in front of church, you know, and maybe it's because this is kind of like a, a touchy feeling subject for me. But I also want to know what you guys think about it. And um, yeah, just give you my point of view, I guess, right? So, guys, um, I feel that personally, I have always gone through a journey, right? when it comes to a spirituality and religion and all of that. I was born in Colombia and Colombia is a Catholic country, you know? So you grow up Catholic, you know? Um, fortunately, I think for me, my family was not also that religious. Uh, my dad is, I think, pretty much very atheist and has been like that almost all, all his life and my mom she is a catholic and she goes to church here and there but she has never been like you know like oh my god no yeah i mean i cannot eat meat or i'm gonna go to hell no you know sometimes she she kind of like went over like this you know sometimes she will be like okay you know we need to go to church you know and then it will be like months without going to church <clears throat> And I, then I start having like all of these um, situations, you know, like growing up Catholic, like I celebrate, of course, Christmas, which is supposed to be the birth of Christ, right? And you celebrate Christmas and you have the treat and you have all the beautiful things uh, around it. Um, and then in Colombia, we do something that it's called Las Novenas, which means that nine days before Christmas, we meet all nine days with all of our friends and family and <clears throat> on different houses and we bring food we bring drinks and there is a prayer that you do which is kind of like the story of the the uh, how christ was born you know like the whole story of the bible and each day is a different piece of the story until you get to christmas day which is when you know Chris Christ is born right and I grew up with that and it's a lot of fun you sing songs you, everyone is happy and as a kid you know it's very much like oh yeah you know we sing and we do all of that you know and it's very fun and it's a tradition <coughs> that I carry literally till this day right however many many years ago I just decided that church was not for me but I do believe in God you know so I start thinking like what does this mean is it the Catholic Christian church that I don't that I don't identify with or relate to am I a Jew I am a Muslim I am a Buddhist like what am, what am I you know so I have been like always like kind of like going around trying to see like what I get connected to. And of course as an adult and the more I know, I'm a, I'm a person who has, who reads, you know, and who um, have a lot of knowledge and I believe in the power of knowledge, you know. So the more and, and, I, and I went to college for biomedical engineers so I'm a man of science as well so the more that I grow up you know so many things 
to me didn't make sense and it didn't align with who I was, right? Um, also, being in a church that doesn't accept me was also a very hard thing to do, you know? I was like, I'm going to be, you know, giving my life to a church that is constantly telling me that who I am is wrong as sin and I'm going to burn in hell. You know what I mean? So, like, all of those things, it's always so contradicted. Now, change times has changed. There are certain churches that are more open than others and they focus more on the actual message of God. And this is something that I'm like constantly exploring, right? Uh, when I read that the story of the Bible, to me, it's so fictitious. I'm like, so you are literally going to tell me that a serpent talked to Eve to give her an apple, you know, or that someone part the, the sea in half, you know, or, I mean, so many of the, the weird stories, even the conception story, you know, the angel that came, it's like, okay, so you're telling me that that happened 2,000 years ago and it never happened ever again. You know, so all of those things, you know, I, I just, I, I, I it, it's so big, you know, and even right now, to me, Christmas, for example, is a time just for family and friends and being together and, 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 and love each other and be there for each other, right? And I keep the praying and I, and I keep doing the novenas, but I do it because of that, because of, you know, the, the, the community that it creates within us, right? But when I'm reading the story, I'm for the past, I want to say five years, I'm always, I'm like, oh, girl. Come on, really, you know? So it has been very hard, you know, going through all of this journey. My husband, he is very religious. And he was he was not only raised by religion, but raised by the fear of God. <clears throat> he was a guy who literally thought that if you masturbate, you will go to hell, you know? This was a guy who thought that God is watching you everywhere all the time and if every and if you do any bad thing in the world then you are going to hell. And I'm like you know, I'm the kind of person who says like are you telling me that God really has the time with 8 billion people in the world plus all the other beings that must be around the world, around the universe, are you going to tell me that he has the time to know if you eat meat on a Friday? And if you did, then he's going to send you to, to hell. You know, that that kind of situation, I'm always kind of like, what? 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 How? It really doesn't make any sense to me, you know? However, I'm very respectful with people, you know, I don't go around, I am not like Christian people, you know, who are like, if you are not Christian, you are going to hell, you know, no, I respect every religion. And now, traveling around the world, going to temples, going to other churches, that also opened my mind a lot, so I respect everyone, like, whatever is your belief, if, if that brings you peace, that's what you need to do for you, right? The only thing that I'm against is anyone trying to, to put that down other people's throats. Even if it's your kids, your spouse, your friends, your uh, colleagues, random people on the street. That's the part that I'm like, I don't think that that's what God really wants, you know? So I have been on a journey of spirituality. I feel that the only thing that you, that God wants from us is to be good people, to be good to one another, to respect and love each other, to have each other's back as humans. There are so much hate in the world, so much hate, and that hate, the root of so much of that hate is the church itself. What is happening in Israel and Palestine? It all comes down to religion. 
what has happened between Christians and Jewish and Muslims and a lot of other religions. How many people the Christian church has persecuted for centuries all on the name of God? And you're going to come here and tell me that you really believe that that's what God wants? I don't believe it. I think God wants us to be the best version of ourselves, to be happy, to love, to love your neighbor, to love your parents, to love your sisters, your brothers, to love your, the nature, to love the very own world that you live in. Take care of, 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 I don't know, plants and trees and animals, you know, and like, like to just be you, to just be a being of light and, 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 and happiness. And it doesn't, I, I don't comprehend how there are people who doesn't believe that that's the real message and who still believe that if you don't come to church every Sunday, then you're going to burn in hell. That if you touch yourself, you're going to burn in hell. That if you have sex before marriage, you're going to burn in hell. That if you're, uh, I don't know, even if you go by the letter of the of the Bible, then women should be on the kitchen. You should not be, I don't know, having pork or I don't know, so many weird things that are in the Bible. You know what I mean? I could talk about this for a very long time. I get very passionate. But... I don't know. I wanted the rise and shine of today to be a spirituality. This is my definition of a spirituality. And I very much would like to hear about yours. You know, I don't have a problem if you believe in, in Christ, in Allah, in Jehovah, in uh, Buddha, in Zeus, in whoever you decide to believe, you know. But I want to understand your experiences. I want to know, I want you guys to tell me on the comments, why do you believe in the God that you believe? What have brought you to the point where you are in life? And what's your definition of a spiritual journey? And where are you on that? And maybe let's have a conversation. So let me know. Thank you for listening on this Rise and Shine. And yeah, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.